Sharks are both magnificent and misunderstood. They're one of the oldest living vertebrate groups, with their lineage extending back hundreds of millions of years. They have roamed the Earth's oceans since before the dinosaurs. Yet sharks live in a shadowy environment that is alien to us. It's been said that we know more about the surface of the moon than our oceans. If true, we know almost nothing about these alien sharks that inhabit the last unexplored frontier on Earth. The public's perception of sharks conjures up images of a large, fearsome, toothy predator. The white shark of Jaws fame usually comes to mind, with its torpedo-shaped body swimming effortlessly through the water with purpose and ease. It was once hunted for sport, as Jaws sold as curios. Today, it is one of the most protected sharks in the world. The tiger shark, with its striking pattern of vertical stripes and spots, is often referred to as a garbage can with fins, due to its broad appetite that includes garbage and inanimate objects such as plastics and metals. The oceanic white tip shark, with its distinctive white tip fins, glides seamlessly through the sea. It is one of the most widespread sharks, ranging across entire ocean basins in tropical and subtropical waters. Although these fearsome looking sharks are what people usually think of when they hear the word shark, sharks in reality come in a wide range of sizes and shapes. From the checkerboard pattern whale shark, at nearly 20 meters in length, or about 60 feet, is the largest fish in the ocean. The great hammerhead shark is distinctive among sharks with a laterally expanded hammer-shaped head. The relatively docile white tip reef shark slowly swims along coral and rocky reefs. The brown cat shark is a deep sea species that migrates hundreds of meters daily off the bottom in search of food. The lollipop cat shark is a tiny species growing no longer than the palm of your hand. It lives in low oxygen environments in the deep sea. Sharks are a highly diverse group that occupy all marine and even some tropical freshwater habitats. Their relatives, the rays and skates, also referred to as flat sharks, are even more diverse, but except for the giant manta ray, most of their species, such as the eagle rays or skates, are mostly unknown to the public. Another close relative to the sharks and rays is the chimeras, also known as ghost sharks, an ancient group dating back over 400 million years ago this once diverse group now numbers about 60 species worldwide. What unites the sharks and their relatives, the flat sharks and ghost sharks, is their cartilaginous skeleton. They form a group of fishes known as chondrichthians. Most fishes, in comparison, have a bony skeleton. The sharks have a long lineage, with ancient forms dating back hundreds of millions of years, and with most modern forms tracing back their origins to 50 and 180 million years ago. Despite their long lineage, a 2014 study found that nearly one quarter of all sharks and their relatives may be threatened with extinction. A follow-up study in 2021 found this number had increased to one third of all sharks. The drivers of this decrease is due to overfishing, habitat loss, and degradation as the primary drivers, with pollution and climate change also being contributing factors. The increased threat to sharks, over 20% of all known species today have only been discovered in the past 15 years. Although the number of species discovered has increased, many other known species have simply vanished without a trace. Some groups, such as the saw fishes and devil rays, have gained public attention, but most species have remained largely invisible to the public. Why should we care about these lost sharks? Well, what if these well-known iconic species were suddenly to disappear? The outrage would be swift and loud. Yet much like these well-known species, these lost sharks may be disappearing before our eyes with no one really paying any attention or noticing. To date, at least two shark species have been declared potentially extinct and one shark species declared extinct. But there may be more. Why should we care about these lost sharks? We should care because they could be informative of the health of the marine environment. These lost sharks are the proverbial canaries in the coal mine. Most of these threatened species, these lost sharks, occur in regions considered biodiversity hotspots and where food security is of primary concern. Compounding the problem is a lack of local training in species identification and adequate species-specific identification guides. 
Awareness of these issues are largely absent from the conversation, with most sharks having been largely lost in a hyper-driven media age whereby a few large charismatic sharks overshadow the majority of species. While a few charismatic species receive media, conservation, and scientific attention, the fate of over 1,200 species of lost sharks remains largely unknown. My name is Dave Ebert, and I search for lost sharks. Over the course of my career, I have discovered scores of new shark species and found hundreds of species not seen in decades. This documentary series is the first to highlight these lost sharks that are disappearing at an alarming rate and with very little notice. Many of the species I'm searching for are among the rarest known species, with many not seen in decades. This episode, the first in a series, is intended to highlight these lost sharks and bring them out of the shadows and into the light of public awareness. Joining me on these expeditions is an international team of shark researchers, conservationists, and educators from around the world. So follow me on my journey through this series as I search for lost sharks, discover new species, and rediscover lawn lost sharks in a race against time before they disappear.